So I've got Excise running on this far monitor over here, but I can't, again, since there's no window manager, there's no border decorations, I can't move it, I can't do anything with it, I can't even close it down. Right clicking, middle clicking, does nothing. Control, click, all, all that does nothing because all of those functions are controlled by the window manager. And since there's no window manager running over there, <clears throat> there's absolutely no way to control this program. All I can do is kill it from the command line, which I'll do now. So how do I start a window manager on that display? Well, I do it the exact same way I start any other program. I've got the display variable already set in this terminal over here, and I, so I don't, have to, I don't have to specify it over and over again because I exported it, so every program that starts is, gonna, is by default going to go to this monitor over here. ISWM light, hit enter, and, and now I've got ice running over here, and by default, you know, it doesn't really look like anything happened because you can see it's running because now if I right click on the desktop, I have a menu come up. And this is just the ice menu. If I click on, you know, the MRXVT, which is my terminal emulator, it starts the terminal emulator, and I now have the ability to move this window around the screen, and I can maximize and unmaximize, and, um, and I can start other programs like LeafPad just by hitting, you know, typing LeafPad into the... and I can resize it, moving around. Now I have, you know, a full window manager running on this display. And if I don't like this ugly gray background, I can just type X set root space dash solid space quote hash 006060, which is just a color that I happen to like. I think it's a good default color. So I can close this out, close out the... Um, terminal that I opened, right click on the desktop and let's say, okay, I'm done with, uh, I'm done with ISWM, I don't want to look at it anymore. I just click log out and now I'm logged out. It, it, when, when you log out, it doesn't change the root color of the window. It doesn't go back to gray. It stays at whatever color you set or whatever image you set. But now if I right click, middle click, do whatever clicking on the desktop on this far left screen, nothing happens because the, uh, the window manager is exited. But again, over here on the main two monitors, it's important to realize that while all this is happening over on the left screen, it's not affecting what's going on on these primary two displays. And again, now it might look like I've got one wide desktop, but I don't because you can see if I drag this window off the edge, it still doesn't go to the far left screen. Nothing's changed. If I want to start a different window manager, I just go back to the terminal here. Again, the export uh, or the display variable is still set, so I just type the window manager I want. Let's say I want to look at, um, what's another one I've got on here? F, F, V, no, that one sucks. Let's say QVM, this one, I don't really like this one so much, but it's visual. Um, QVWM. I start it, and you can see it actually does quite a bit more when it starts up by default. It looks a lot like Windows 95 I've got this new window manager started over here. It's nothing, you know, didn't affect my other two screens. Um, if I start XI's over here, I've got, you know, control of this application or this little tiny program. It's got window borders. I can move it around. I can click on it, drag it. Um, you know, got the little start menu down here, and it actually literally says start. And um, I don't know, let's just say open some irrelevant program like, I don't know, the GIMP. That'll work. And okay, so now I've got the GIMP open over here. Now here's what I think is interesting about this particular setup. So I've got this program open over here, unless on this far left monitor, and let's say I have a few things going on on my main monitor or my main two displays here and here. So I'll open Firefox on the main display here, which Firefox is a bit of pig, so it takes a second to open up. So now I've got Firefox open, and let's say, you know, I want to go to a different virtual screen on my main two displays. So I just, on this one, I just click on the, not click on the desktop, but just scroll down. Boom, I'm on a different virtual terminal. I can open up a different program. Let's say LeafPad, we'll keep it small. And over here on the this display, th these programs don't change. 
because this monitor is working completely independently of the other two. So I could change virtual desktops back to you know my Firefox and terminal. Nothing over here changes. Change virtual desktops on this one back to whatever I've got running on this one and nothing over here changes. Very cool. And this works the other way around too. If for some reason on the far left display you wanted to change desktops if you didn't want these applications to be let's just say persistent or omnipresent you can click on a different virtual desktop on this one and very cool does not affect the far right monitor or the center monitor you get the idea